In today's video, we're looking at adding voice notes into both Google Forms and Gmail. Not only is it going to allow you to quickly record your voice messages, but it includes automatic transcriptions and translations as well. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now, in order for us to do this, we're going to be using an extension called Moat. Now, you can find Moat by going to justmoat.me. Now, I've made two videos about Moat before. One was about voice notes in Google Docs, the other about voice notes in Google Slides. Now, you will find a link to both those videos in the description below or at the top in the cards. Now, let's jump into the new features of Moat gmail and forms now let's start with gmail now i'm here inside my gmail and i'm about to send a new email now you can see that i have my compose window right here and at the top i've added a demo teacher account and we're going to send them a voice note so let's go ahead and add our subject now i'm going to say demo note there we go and now we're going to click on that mode icon now in order for you to start recording your voice note make sure that you see that icon there at the bottom now, the first time you click this, you're going to have to give it access to your microphone. And if you want to use transcriptions, make sure that those have been turned on. If you're not sure, go to the top of your browser, click on the Moat icon, and then under Settings, Enable Voice Transcription. Once you've enabled this, you're good to go. So let's go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to click on the icon, and as soon as I click, it will start recording. Thank you for your email. I appreciate you reaching out to me. Maybe we can schedule a meeting next Monday. I will be in touch with the meeting times and hopefully we can decide on what the best steps moving forward are. Click on that icon again to end or finish this note and then it's going to start being processed by Moat. You can see here, I can preview this so I can click on play. Thank you for your email. I Everything sounds okay, the quality is good, I can now click on those three dots. And those three dots are going to give me access to the transcriptions. So when I click on edit, that transcription on the right hand side is being generated by Moat. We can now tweak this, take out the mistakes, and then what I absolutely love about this, we have this additional icon here, that is the language icon. I can now translate this into any of these languages. So let's go ahead and translate this into Dutch. And there we go. The entire transcript has been translated into another language. This will really help you support those parents that may not have English as their first language, or maybe you just need an additional language in that email and you don't speak it yourself. Well, this will automatically do that for you. Once you're happy, go ahead and click on send. I'm going to click on OK. And that email is now sent to that recipient. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what it looks like. And here we are. We can now see that this has a moat message. And as soon as that recipient clicks on this, the message will open up in a separate tab. They can now listen to this. Thank you for your email. I appreciate you. In addition to hearing the original message, they also see that translated transcript on the right hand side. Once they're ready to move on, they can just click this tab and then reply to this email. And this is just one of many updates that have come to Moat. Let's jump into Google Forms now and see how Moat works within Google Forms. Here, in my demo account, I have a Google Form ready, lesson reflection, and I'm going to ask my students two questions. What did you do well? And what did you find challenging? Now we're going to preview this form and then I'm going to show you how Moat works within Google Forms. So here we have our preview. This is what it will look like to our students once it's been assigned to them and here they can answer by typing their answers. In addition to typing it, they can also click on that mode icon and then they can record their response. So you can see it's now recording my response. As soon as I'm finished, I'm going to click on done and it's automatically adding a link to that mode note in this box. They can preview it and then they can record and they can remove this. Once they're happy, they can click on submit and then we as the teacher will get all those notes, those spoken notes in our form submissions and we can easily listen to everything they have submitted. So Moat is an incredibly useful tool. If you wanna find out more about using Moat in Google Docs and Google Slides, 
find links to those videos in the description below. Now for even more tips and tricks on educational technology, make sure to visit the website, subscribe to this channel, and that way you will be notified of every new blog post and every new video. And I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.